Hello, hope all of you are fine. Our uh, today's topic is ASCII. ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Remember, it's a 7 bit code. Okay? Now, what is the purpose of this? That we should understand first. Then I will discuss about this, this code. We all use keyboard, okay? We all use our computer. And we know we are very much aware about the keyboard. In the keyboard, you can see it's typed A to Z. The numbers are there. There are special characters. As you, you have pressed on A, but computer doesn't understand that A. Computer understands only the binary value. So for this A, let's say you have pressed on capital A. And it cannot be understood by the computer. So for each and every keys of the keyboard, there is a standard value, which is called ASCII value. If it is capital A, the value is 65, okay? So once you are pressing on computer, on A, on the keyboard, actually you are pressing on 65. What does it mean? This 65 is converting into binary and that computer is understanding. What is the binary value of 65? After 1, if we press, if we write 6 zeros, so 2 to the power 6 is 64. Let's rub this 1 and uh, 0 and write 1. So this one became 65. So we are pressing on A. The ASCII value of A is 65. This is being converted into this value, binary value, and the computer is understanding. Now, what does it mean, this 7 bit? See, how many bit it is? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, it's a 7 bit code. Now, any character that is there in the computer, like A to J, 65 is A. If you think about J, the ASCII value of this one is 90. So, that's covered with 7 bit. How? It's 7 7 b code is equal to actually 2 to the power 7 is equal to 128 characters okay so if it is j 90 so it belongs to this okay now if you think about just assume about a small a a small a what is the, uh, the ascii value of this one the ascii value of small a is 97 the ascii value of small j is 122 so all of them belongs to which one? This 120 or uh, 128. Okay. Now there are some special characters. As you uh, special character, the longest key, the space bar. Okay. The value of this one is ASCII value of this one is 32. So that is also belongs to 128. So all these characters are covering with ASCII, American Standard code for information interchange but now okay there are some keys which is there into the keyboard like if you think about double quotation the value of this one is 132 which doesn't belong to 128 now there is a problem but that is also being covered by extended ASCII extended ASCII. This extended ASCII is a 8-bit code. Okay? 8-bit means 2 to the power 8 is equal to 256 characters can be accommodated so that uh, whatever the others like this type of keys or you may find these keys into your keyboard, these are all belongs to now 256 characters. Okay? Hope you have understood ASCII and extended ASCII. You may have heard about another code. Which one is E, B, C, D, I, C? Extended binary code, decimal interchange code. Okay. This is also an 8-bit code. Now, what is the difference between this one and extended ASCII? Actually, EBC was designed for IBM machine okay and very hardly this one is used so 
Hope you have understood this one. ABCDIC, this is especially, it was designed for which one? IBM. This is also, this is an 8-bit code. Now, <coughs> think about an, uh, an Arabic people, Arabic guy. He wants to use the computer with Arabic language. Now, uh, like A to Z, then small a to small j there are some numbers special characters which is there into the keyboard all is already co almost covered with uh, these codes extended uh, ASCII code for if an Arabic person his language need to be added so more codes are required there is Spanish guy a uh, British a uh, British are already using ASCII there is a uh, uh, Chinese person he wants to use his computer with these codes. So those characters cannot be accommodated actually with the extended ASCII as well with 256. So more and more code is required. So for them, for better use of the computer with other languages, the which one the one which is used is uni unicode. Okay, and unicode is a 16 bit code okay and more extended it has gone up to 32 bit as well as well okay if it is 16 bit how many characters can be accommodated it's 2 to the power 16 which is actually equal to 65536 characters okay if it is 32 bit in that case it goes more it goes up to 429 crore 9 lakhs 67,296 characters that's really a huge one okay so all those characters throughout the world can be covered with unicode hope you guys have understood ASCII extended ASCII EBCDIC and unicode thank you if you like my video, press like, you can write a comment, that's a very good one which I like. If you have any confusion, any doubt, if you want to know more about these codes, you can write me on your comment, definitely I will answer you, okay. You can press the bell button as well, you can subscribe me to get more notification. Thank you very much.